heat transfer to a vessel or to a chemical reactor may be carried out by jacketing the equipment. Jackets are often provided for vessels requiring frequent cleaning or for vessels which are difficult to equip with internal coils. Now, jackets may be of several types. Among them, we can list conventional jackets or half-pipe coil jackets. Conventional jackets are formed with another cylinder concentric to the vessel that needs to be cooled or heated. An example of a jacketed chemical reactor with a simplified cross-sectional view is seen here. In this example, continuous spiral baffles are welded to the inner wall of the reactor. A heat transfer fluid, depicted here in red, flows through the jacket. Let's assume here that the red fluid is a hot fluid and that the fluid inside the reactor is the cold fluid and needs to be heated. In this arrangement, the two fluids are adjacent to each other since the jacket forms a cylinder concentric to the reactor vessel. As a result, the two fluids have a cold, hot pattern. The two fluids are of course completely separated from each other by the reactor wall and do not mix. Due to this close proximity, heat is exchanged between them through conduction. The hot fluid heats up the reactor vessel and the vessel passes some of the heat to the cold fluid. As a result, the hot fluid temperature decreases and the cold fluid temperature increases. In half-pipe coil jackets, half-pipes are welded onto the vessel to form a coil. The heat transfer fluid flows through the coil and heats or cools down the vessel through conduction. Here again, the fluids do not mix. Now, in some arrangement, the jacket can be divided into multiple zones for maximum flexibility and efficiency, as depicted in this example, where you can see two heat transfer zones, zone 1 and zone 2.